sometimes it's good to only have a cigar, not a patient. I can't repeat some of the stories they told me. They just go on and on for hour and hour after hour and I have to sit and listen. People ask me, what is the secret of my method? I have to tell them there is no method, except for perhaps the rewards of a good cigar that I transfer to the patient. And they go away with a good feeling and an invoice. People sometimes compare me to my young colleague, Dr. Kyle Young. Why anyone would want to compare me to that asshole, I don't know. That man stole my ideas and then turned them upside down, switched them around, invented everything I didn't believe in. And for a while called, her, called himself my disciple. It just wasn't the way it was supposed to work out. It just wasn't the way that we planned the future together. He was going to be my son and heir. Instead, he betrayed me. And the worst thing of all is that he began talking about all sorts of different things and didn't concentrate on the most important thing, which was, of course, sex and the occasional cigar. I will tell you one very important thing about my life, and it is movement. People move back and forth, from side to side, when they are carried in their mother's belly, they are going to and fro, back and forth, side to side. And the movement is like the smoke from a cigar that curls up into the air and shifts and goes up into the atmosphere. That too is movement. We never stop. We are always on the move. People see a tree, a flower, a stone, a leaf, a bird, and they think it is a leaf, a tree, a bird. But it isn't. It's a symbol. It means something else. And these symbols are all around us. We are surrounded by meaning. We cannot escape those meanings. Those meanings essentially are male or female. They are life or death, eros or fantasy. They give our lives and they make our lives richer through the dream work in which they have their playground. This is symbolism of life. Project. Whose personality? <laughs>